Hello, welcome to a new vlog. It is Friday, June 12th today. It's my best friend Mac's birthday. Mac, I love you. Happy birthday. Um, I am going to start a new vlog today because I have been kind of filming a few clips here and there over the past two weeks, but I, I just didn't feel like it was an appropriate time to post anything, so... I'm gonna start vlogging now. I may or may not put in those clips. I did go to Tofino and go surfing last week, and I filmed a couple of clips from that because that was really, um, it's really fun and really beautiful, and I feel like not a lot of people maybe know what Tofino looks like, so I may include some of those. But it is two o'clock. I have, um, just been cleaning up the apartment. It's actually been a really, really, really shit day today. It just started getting sunny. So I've just been cleaning, getting my life organized, um, kind of treating this Friday like a Sunday type deal. And then I can have a clean apartment for the weekend, which is ideal. So yeah, that's what we're doing. If anything else exciting happens, I'll let you guys know. Um, I have spent the morning also to watching some of Sonia Renee Taylor's videos and some of Sophia Rose videos and I would highly recommend watching those um, or following them on Instagram. Um, and I think something I forgot to mention too in my last video about um, the Black Lives Matter movement is that if you are not being inundated, or like maybe inundated is the wrong word, if you are not, if everyone you're following is not talking about this, then you're not following the right people. And I feel very, um, feel good about the fact that everyone, almost everyone I'm following is talking about it and I feel like I have a diverse perspective obviously could always be improved but I'm just saying that if you are in a position where you feel like you're not seeing this a lot it's because you're following the wrong people on social media so I really suggest to diversify your following because um, you should be seeing it a lot and it should be continuing to be talked about Anyways, uh, that's what I'm doing. I made some homemade hummus yesterday, and so I might make some homemade pita bread today just so that I have that for the rest of the week. Um, yeah, it's been a really slow kind of week. Um, a lot of, like, when I was really busy, a lot of the projects I had kind of wrapped up, and so I feel like that's kind of what happens. It ebbs and flows in me being really busy and then a little bit of, like, a slower week um, because I find that projects for some reason always end up lining up so that they're all due or, you know, need to be posted at the same time. Um, and yeah, moving forward, I have drafted an e a personal email, organic email for myself anytime a company reaches out to ensure that they are being racially diverse and who they represent and who they are marketing and who they're including in these PR giftings because, um, that's important and that's something that I can do in my, in my sphere, so... I'm gonna continue to do that and yeah that's all I really have to update you guys on I did post on Instagram today too that I am going to be starting a GIS YouTube channel I'm really excited about it I've been thinking for a long time ways in which I can incorporate um, GIS and geomatics into this because um, that is first and foremost what I did you know for school like my formal education uh, even though this has been a more serious part of my life you know financially and that sort of thing um, so I'm gonna start a separate YouTube channel I am gonna post a video which I filmed weeks ago actually um, on this channel and on that channel so that um, you guys can get a, sort of an intro to GIS geomatics and then I'll do another video talking about kind of what I want to do with that and then we're gonna do I'm gonna start off with like a short series of videos just simple how to's um, and then we'll get into some more like in-depth stuff depending on what you guys want to see but GIS is just like extremely inaccessible unless you pay the money to go to university and learn it and so I just want to make it more accessible to people um, so that more people can use it for things that they need it for because it is such there's so many different applications for it and I think that a lot of the applications for it that are like the most important are like things that people don't have access to so 
that's what I'm going to do. I'm really excited about it. It's going to be like my summertime kind of thing, and then we'll see where it goes from there. But, yeah, that's basically all I have to update you guys on for right now. And I'll catch you guys in a little bit later. <laughs> homemade pita dough that I'm hoping is ready. It's been rising for like two hours now. It is instant yeast though, so usually an hour, two hours. Um, here's how he's looking. I still feel like he could rise a little bit more. not being super fast this time. I feel like sometimes they do it and in the right heat conditions it rises super quick. I do have my oven on at the lowest temp so I can just get some warm air. I'm gonna leave it for maybe like 30 more minutes and then just make it because I'm very impatient but it's super easy. It's flour, salt, yeast, water, and a little bit of olive oil. Really easy to do. I use instant yeast. Um, I will link the recipe down below that I used. I think I honestly may have shown this in a vlog. We may have not But I liked to make homemade pita because I made homemade hummus. Just saves a lot of money. And it's really nice to do like falafel wraps with the homemade pita. So good. Um, but yeah, and it lasts pretty long. And then once you are done with like the soft bits, you can like cut up the rest and put them in the oven and make like pita chips. Which is really good. So... Yeah, I will leave the a link to the recipe that I used down below. It uses um, active, I mean, on the recipe it says active or dry, but I mean instant, which I feel like the conversion doesn't work out exactly. So I've been using instant for this. Sorry, I think I said active. I've been using instant for this. However, if you're using a different recipe that uses active dry yeast, just make sure you're doing the conversion because there is a little bit more moisture in the instant, I believe meaning that you'll use less water to begin with to activate it, essentially. I don't really know exactly the science behind it, but that's kind of from the reading I've done, have gathered, so just be careful of that. But I've been using instant because I like making it, like, the day of. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing, just watching YouTube videos and reading some stuff and just hanging out. Hello everybody, what's up? Um, it's Saturday, I'm about to go hang out with some pals, um, bringing my book because I think I might want to go to the beach after and read, but I um, thought I would show you guys my little outfit. Pretty simple. Um, yeah, this morning, it's already like 2 o'clock, this morning I have just... I went on a super long walk, talked to my mom for like an hour and a half, um, got a coffee, and then just been cleaning up my apartment, and now I am off. Um, yeah, I'm currently reading This Changes Everything by Naomi Klein. That's not going to help you guys. Here we go. Um, that's on the docket right now. So, yeah. Ooh, what the hell? So close. Hello. It's. 
I don't know what day it is. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. And it's like almost 7 o'clock. Um, I don't know how much how many clips I have of this vlog, but I might just edit it together and put it up. Um, because... I don't know, vlogging is, is just difficult right now and I don't know if I'm going to like keep, I know that if I, basically what I'm trying to say is if I drag this over too long, I know it's just going to be the same shit, so I should just, you know, shut it off. But I didn't do a whole lot today um, and yesterday, I've been just reading and um Reflecting and just doing stuff um, that they need to do outside of the internet sphere um, I'm just about to watch. I made some tacos for dinner, which were so good. I'm gonna go eat another one actually um, And I'm gonna watch um, Ava DuVernay's um, piece when they see us um, Tonight that's my plan and Yeah, so I may end the vlog here. I have also decided um, which I will insert, I'm probably going to film a clip now that I will be at the beginning so you will have already seen this face <laughs> at the beginning. Oh, did I stop my tooth? No, I'm good. Um, that I have been watching Chris Clemens for I guess like a couple months now since quarantine started and he during quarantine was um, always shouting out an organization or something like that. Um, for people to donate to or become aware of and I decided it would be um, timely and opportunistic um, for y'all for me to do it here in every single one of my vlogs so in every single vlog henceforth I am going to share um, an organization or a person or something some sort of cause that we can all either become informed of or donate to or whatever you know is respective of that thing so in today's vlog because this will be going up soon I am want to bring to attention um, glitz Inc um, which is a organization founded by I'm gonna pull up her name because I don't want to mess it up um, and basically what they have been doing is they have been providing temporary housing for um, recent um, from people who have been recently um, released from Rikers Island, which is a prison in New York, I believe. Um, but they have this goal to get to $1 million so that they're able to either sign a lease or purchase a building so that they can provide um, some housing stability for eight um, black trans community members. I'm assuming that this um, um, money will go so that they can support more people essentially because they already are supporting people um but it has been started by Sian Dorsho um and I will leave a link to their organization below I personally have donated myself I would never share something that I haven't put research into or donated to myself to you guys and ask you to donate um so I'm going to leave all the information in the description and so you guys can find it and if you are able to you can donate to them uh, I think they're pretty close to their goal, but they need to get to it before June 30th so that they can go ahead and um, get these buildings so uh, That's something I'm gonna be doing moving forward if there are any sort of organizations or um, Nonprofits or people doing things in your community that you want me to share Please feel free to email me with some information so that I can learn more about it so that I can share it with the rest of you so um, That's what but yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're taking some time to um, Take care of yourselves and um, You know Re-energize so that you can do the best that you can do always. I know I'm trying to do that and I Yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. Sorry, I just had like a brain fart of things I wanted to say. Also, I don't know if you can see, but this plant of mine is growing mushrooms in it. Isn't that bizarre? Apparently they're harmless, but it's still kind of freaky. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. I think it'll be just 
a regular sit down video. I don't know what it'll be yet, but it'll be something. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.